importance of fellowship to the needy and the downtrodden as part of individuals' contribution to help in building the society. Ajahi, who made the remarks at the Golden Age celebration of the state's commissioner for information, Yemi Olowolabi in Lagos, said act of giving should be encouraged anywhere we find ourselves. Correspondent Abiola Ismail was at the 50th birthday of Olowolabi and brought back this report. To God be the glory, greater things he had done. Praises and adoration rented here as Yemi Lowolabi rolled her drums to give thanks to God Almighty for his bountiful blessings on him and his household who spared his life till date. This it does to celebrate his 50 years of existence on earth. Olowolabi, who doesn't believe in any other things than praising God, convite friends and well wishes to Lagos to celebrate with him. The officiating minister from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Magodo, Lagos, said it was a celebration of joy in the life of Yemi Olowolami, a man of many parts, down to heart and loved by many. The minister encouraged every living to always give back as the gain are unquantifiable. Part of a righteous man will continue to shine brighter and brighter until the perfect day. That's our prayer for him that the Lord will continue to uphold him. His part will continue to shine brighter and brighter until the perfect day in the mighty name of Jesus. In his remarks, the understood Deputy Governor Adbiola Jayi and God for sparing the lives of the State Commissioner for Information and prayed for more bountiful years to come. He called on everyone to imbibe the act of giving. For those state governments, it's an asset that we don't wish away like that. We want to promote him and beg God that God should continue to spare his life so that the man will celebrate 60, celebrate, celebrate 70, celebrate 80, 90, and 100 years. Accolades from well wishes and friends who besieged the premises of Yemi Ulewulabi was animals. Among them were his bosom friends and media colleagues. People, when they die on time, they die. You never can tell whether it's a prayer like this that is answering their life. And I say once again that um, Jeremy shall go places. Amen. The glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. A full chapter has been de devoted to the celebrant in my biography that I'm going to unveil next month. Uh, I mean, when I also turn, when I will be turning 50. Uh, but specifically, is how he saved my life. Is how he prevented me from committing suicide. Mr. Yegolo Lavi, on behalf of the state government, Arapuni, Olaroti, and Kariwele, we propose this toast to the good health of your younger self and family at 15. The Golden Age Boy and his atrop also expressed their tongue and adoration to God for the beautiful things he has done in their lives. I feel good, I feel great, and uh, above all, I'm thankful. I'm grateful to God. I thank God for life. I thank God for his message over the years. I have taken many risks in my life. I've done many things that uh, ordinarily should have put my that I put my life in danger. But God's mercy has always seen me through. So I'm very happy. I count myself very lucky. An unusual beneficiary of uncommon grace. So I thank God. I thank God. I want them to live a good life. Like I said during my uh, speech, that my husband is a good man. When you live a good life, the Lord of my Father will always be by your side. I want to tell them that they should live a life that is pleasing unto God and to serve humanity. That is the most important thing. The high point of the 58th birthday celebration was the cutting of cake while Lisu Damilade Adekwiba had a color with his professional handling of the saxophone. From the 
the chairman MITV and Star FM, Al Haji Muridbadi and the entire management and staff. We say happy birthday to an icon in the media industry, the Ondo State Commissioner for Information, Yemi Oluwolabi. Abiola Ismail, MITV News. There's a package tonight, but before we.